Well, here we are again, back down to our favourite creek. I've got uh, the grandson and my good wife up there on the bank. And we're just trying to clean up again. We were down here two weeks ago and uh, we've got quite a lot of rubbish. Um, but I'd also, I'll show you at the end of the video, we got, um, went to the scrap metal today. And, uh, geez, it's hard to get down here. And we got, uh, I'll show you the receipt of the scrap metal that we scrapped. Geez, I was down here today. But anyway, let's get into this. See what we can find here. My grandson's in big trouble. He's just a bit out. What's the problem there? Everything's falling down. Oh, everything's falling down. Yeah. The rubbish. Yeah. yeah, I'll just carry your bucket, mate. We'll get moving on. It's just amazing. We've just had a bit of rain a couple of days ago. But I suppose we're lucky, there's no water in the creek at the minute. So we'll just keep going around. Yeah. There we go, there's a lot of stuff here. Alfoil. foil. There's that. Someone's favourite drink. A lot of this rubbish would break down in the environment, but um, some of it doesn't, the cans and all that, but here we go, look at this, yeah, yeah. Cling, yeah. cling wrap bags, press seal bags, absolute nightmare, really if you're going to send your lunch to school with the kids, Far better to have one that you can reuse. Another plastic bag. This time, white sandwich bread. White sandwich bread. Terrible. Like we come down here and we're not coming down here to make money, we're not coming down here to impress anybody, we just do it all the time and occasionally we get some scrap metal. You want to yeah, grab that for us? Yeah, I've got a computer chip and a big piece of metal. Okay mate, you want to grab that? Thanks. Thanks mate. Oh -ho. Bonus, bonus. Yeah, look at that. Look at that, fingerless glove. Here we can't find the other one. <laughs> That'll be alright. People don't even know what bins are for. No, they don't. But some people do like you guys. <laughs> this river, this stand from the river here, looks like the deserts. Yeah, it's getting a bit dry, isn't it? Yep. Starting to look like a desert. Let's have a look around up on the side here. Up in here. This creek here is fed from a, um, a dam which is quite a ways up there and it runs through an olive grove and then goes all the way down here and we have two dams inside the park and uh, kids love to go down there, there's a lot of ducks and all that but Last time we showed you in last video, we went to the dam over there. Right. But yeah, we'll come down here one day and we'll do a video down at the dams and just show you exactly what it's all about. Yeah, and there's lots of flies down here. They're annoying me. Lots of flies. Well, that's what you get living in Australia, I suppose, isn't it? Yeah, heaps of flies. And I just tripped on a rock. It's not too bad down here, bro. Um, there we go, look at that. I'm losing my hand for this one. Yep. Oh, what's this? What is that? Oh, that's a little 
That's a rock. Well, could go in your collection. Yeah, I'll put it in. sort that when we get home. Yeah. Um, okay, well, most of you wouldn't know, but our grandson here, he's uh, into archaeology. And, uh, oh, hello, look at that. Look at that bit of a tunnel there, Brody. Yes. I don't know if the camera can see down in there. Wow, look at that. That kind of looks like a snake hole. It does, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Oh, there's Watch out for hole. snakes here. Another hole right here? Yep, that's only a baby one. Mm -hmm. But um, yes, Brady uh, oh, wants to be, a, right has an interest in archaeology and also uh, fossicking. Yeah. Uh, quite often we go out metal detecting together yeah. up in the hills or on the beach. Mm -hmm. um, don't find a lot of stuff. Look at this quartz. Oh, here we go. He's just pointing out a bit of quartz there in a rock. Quartz? Yeah, quartz type rock, yes. Hello, we're taking that one home, obviously. Huh? I say we're taking that one home then. Yeah. Jeez, it's awfully nice down here. It'd be really nice with a bit of water in the creek. Yeah. Although, it looks like it's going to get a bit damp down here. Mm. We'll just keep walking down. Yeah. Um, actually, I'm quite pleased. There's not too much litter. Look, yeah. here's one of those uh, icy pole things, zooper duper. Yeah. And oh. if you can see on this rock yes. right here, it kind of looks, you can kind of see that quartz in it, like yeah, a quartz. That looks like a sedimentary actually. Yeah, and see these rocks here, they're like my favourite kinds. Oh. Here's, there's heaps of them here, see? Alright. And this is a very cool quartz. Alright, well you let's make a move on, wood. let's get down to these tunnels because I'm interested to see if um, just how much litter's back in there. Yeah, um, we... Oh, look, I might have to go up there. I want to go and get that litter up there. So, yeah, I can. Yeah, can you go and get that for me? Sure. Yeah, and thanks. There's a hole there. Yeah, I'll just be careful. There he goes. All right, we might continue on down here. Have a look. Yep, it's starting to get wet down here now. We go get into the water. Just a mud stick. I'm gonna get stuck here in the mud somewhere. I'll we'll just get out of here. I'm gonna get stuck in the mud. I'll get up here to make sure we're on. Right buddy. That's not too bad. They're pretty clean down here. Well, I found a bag. You found a plastic bag, have you, mate? Good job. Well, it has some bugs on it. Oh, well, bugs are good. No, no. Just don't bring them home. Oh, now I found a big bag of gels. I'm coming over right here. I tried it. Well done. Right. Just have another look back down the creek here. Yeah, it's quite a long creek really. And it's not a bad little place that yeah. people just don't realise just what we have look, in your own backyard. Oh you kid. It's not I don't really do this. I don't never do this. And there's our tunnels. Well, right, let's make our way over, aren't eh? I see some litter in two of them. You see some litter? Yep, in that one there and in that one there. Okay, we'll go down there and we'll grab that litter. I'll just grab this oh, paper here. Mine's are getting a bit full. Wow, you are. You're getting a lot of litter there. Doing a great job, mate. Yep. This is my um, third job, what I want to do. Oh, here's some goodies. Oh, it's All not. right, yeah. That's just... Yeah, it doesn't matter, it's waste. It's, yeah. it's all going to clog up our system. And we don't want it going oh, where... Oh, here's a big plastic yeah, bag. Yeah, another plastic bag. Jeez, the plastic bag's around a lot. I wish we could get rid of that. Oh, where is Mangon? I know, she's down the trail a bit. That's all right. 
Let's have a look down here. Well, I don't really like this one here because we don't actually know where this one goes, do we? Yeah. Oh, I'll just grab this bit of paper. There we go. Try to get back out. Okay. Now, we didn't go in the second tunnel, did we? So, we're going to go into the second tunnel, oh. and maybe next time we might go into that tunnel. Right, eh? Um, um, Well, there's lots of rubbish. Pick it up. Oh, there's, there's little mosquitoes coming up. Maybe. Well, what we might do, there's a lot of mozzies here. Here, we'll just grab this stuff here. They're we'll all under there. there. Yeah, just let me get that there, mate. Let me look there. You know what we want to find. Right here. Why don't you just grab those papers and that foil here? What's that? Because that stick seems to be breaking, doesn't it? I'm going to grab a letter grabber there. A little chip packet. Okay, we might just have a look down there. Just shine your light down, mate. Okay. You can see well, like that, all the wasp nests. Yeah, there is, yeah. Heaps. Yeah, there is a lot down there. Yeah. And what's that? that There's a there? hole. There's a hole, look at that. Uh, it's not that far. Yeah. Somebody sent a tiny one. Alright then, what we might do is we'll just have one look up our first tunnel, just to make sure it's clear. And then, uh, might we might, uh, we might actually go and uh, have a look on the other side. We'll cross the road maybe. I don't know. We've already gone in this one. Yeah, and I, do you want to shine your light up there if you can? Sure. Um, there's wasps and wasps everywhere. No, there's nothing there to see. It looks pretty clear. Yeah. Oh well, uh, unless we keep it clear here. We do have a little bit here, just here. The main thing that we actually find, Brody, is we find an awful lot of plastic bags and uh, take away food containers you know plastic is just such a big problem uh, you know when are people going to start to realize that you know get rid of it don't buy it don't buy your stuff in plastic bags you know buy it in bulk you know or start sending all your packaging back to the supplier I mean it's about time that people in Australia and across the world for that matter they started being accountable you know they're producing these wonderful goods that we can buy cheap and yet we've got to dispose of all the garbage it's about time all the big manufacturers in the world said okay we'll take back our packaging and maybe then if they had to take it back then we wouldn't have so much of a problem anyway everyone i'm going to call it quits just here brody and myself are going to have a little bit a little bit more look in the park See what can we pick up mm -hmm. and like I say at the end of the, this video I'll put in a um, couple of snapshots of two receipts we got just to see how the scrap metal prices have gone up and down over the last no, week. Just goes my All right then, right over. Thanks everyone. Thanks. See you later. See. We'll put the rock back in your car and your matches. Yeah. Okay, this is what we managed to collect. And on there. as you can see, sorry everyone, there is an awful lot of stuff here, and we're not going to pull it out. It's quite windy here today, but you can see fast food containers, straws, uh, plastic, Ziploc bags, alfoil, tissues. Um, main thing we found plastic. Anyway, because it's windy, we're going to have to stop the video.
cái gì See, the one that swooped in might have been the mother of the second baby that turned up. Well, maybe and she thought the mother of the first baby was intimidating the baby, so she swooped down to say, stay away from my baby. You know, they watered the grasses from grass this morning, so the ground underneath would be in the first to get their worms. Copper wire, copper, motors, um, aluminium, copper wire, and copper sheet. Well, hi again, everyone. It's just uh, a quick update here. Um, I'll show you the two receipts here. I won't go through and, and point everything out for you, but just briefly, just so you can understand, this was done a couple of days ago. And this one here was done about two months ago. And it just shows you a comparison on, on how uh, scrap metal prices have gone up and down. And mind you, this is not my source of income. This is just a, a bonus for all the waste scrapping we do and saving um, items going to landfill. But you'll see here um, uh, brass here currently, it's at $4.50 per kilo and uh, it was uh, over here it, it was four dollars a kilo so brass has actually gone up 50 cents a kilo and over here copper number one um used to be uh, it's, it, it was currently five dollars sixty and uh, it used to be up here at, at six dollars and also P, pvc wire over here um the other day we got two dollars uh, per kilo for it and previously over here we got uh, $2.25 per kilo so it just shows you that uh, combination metals like brass they've gone up in price and uh, copper uh, number one and copper number two uh, PVC coated they've all dropped down in price um, I'll let you look at all the rest here and as you can see also for people that live interstate or possibly overseas you know, we do get our milk cartons here. Look, you can see up here at the top, uh, milk cartons. We had 40 there. We got $4 for that. So that's pretty good um, for us to recycle here in South Australia. Um, beer bottles, um, they were there. Uh, soft drink cans, you know, that's your normal um, uh, soda cans you know, for the people in America. Um, like I said once before, we get 10 cents per can. Anyway, that's all for now. Uh, thank you very much for watching. And uh, I'll see you on the next video. Cheers.